My power family, I want to speak on this Bobby Hemmick, the Bophemy situation that's going on on the internet. You see what I'm saying? So look, how I look at it is Bobby Hemmick is a master teacher. He a master teacher. And all I'm saying is when you get the master teachers like that, you just put them on a trophy case and get them the championship and let them shine. You don't call their names out and go to, you know, foo-fooing. Like you got more knowledge than this man. He, he just giving you the references in the books that he read. I'm not saying read everything, but we must know even the remix of our culture. That's all that they done. They just done remix some shit. Some old, just like they done Christianity, just like they done Judaism, just like they done Islam. It's just a remix. They talking about Satanism and Baphomet. We never had none of that shit. Don't let them sit up there and lie to you. That's facts. But the, the gang members and shit, they all is with this Satanism energy. Which is Babylon energy. Nigga, we gods and goddesses on the planet. We not going to fuck with no shit like that. Are y'all crazy? But that don't mean Bobby Hemmett believed in Satanism. He got the commit shit on. He a brother of the crowd. But that don't mean he, he can't go and read in the esoteric uh, books. You see what I'm saying? You got to be able to distinguish from what you read and not try to become it. When just because you reading the shit, that don't mean you got to become it. That, that's a sign of a slave. I'm just going to be real. That's a sign of a slave. You y'all niggas cannot read something and be a part, you know what I'm saying, of the information without trying to become it. You don't become every damn thing. We are Africans. That's just like the niggas is talking about. We Aborigines. We not no Aborigines. The Aborigines are Africans. You check their blood. Go to the research is on the line. Go check their uh, DNA. But these niggas will tell you that they the indigenous motherfuckers. They'll tell you that they don't believe in DNA. What kind of shit is that? What do y'all believe in? What do, what, so science can't even prove nothing to you? Now that's paganism. See, y'all, your little truth, what we saying is the origin of truth. Just like I showed last night with the OMAC. If you would have went to the uh, cause the OMAC is the first civilization in the Americas. If y'all would have went over there in, in the ancient world and asked them, yo, well, where the OMAC sit? Them niggas wouldn't have known what the hell you talking about. You see what I'm saying? But if you would have went over there and was but like, where the Ethiopians at, they would have immediately knew who you talking about because Ethiopia just mean black. So I don't know what y'all talking about with this indigenous Indians and all this kind of shit. The goddamn OMACs don't wear no uh, 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 feather caps and shit. They got goddamn Egyptian helmets on with the Naga on the front of it. What is y'all talking about? The man that discovered it, Matthew Sterling, in the 1800s just said that these these were undoubtedly Ethiopian people. He didn't say Moors. He didn't say Israelites. He, no disrespect. You know, I love y'all brothers. We all want. I don't play all that goofy shit. But what I'm saying, he didn't say uh, 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 Indians. He didn't say none of that. Immediately when he saw those faces in those pyramids and the culture of those people. Because all of the statues of the old man, they dress like Africans. Even the fucking uh, Mayans. The Mayans are not older than the old Max. The old Max are older than the Mayans. So when the uh, so-called old Max get here, the old Max are just a uh, mix between the Chinese and the African. But the Chinese, when they do the DNA study, they say they Africans. And then you go look at Africa, you look at the Koi Koi, K-O-I, K-O-I, which y'all call Bushmen, and the white man called Hottentots, which is a disrespectful term for these great gods and goddesses that are still walking on the planet. You see what I'm saying? So they uh, uh, trace their DNA back to them. You see what I'm saying? That don't mean they got the same political view as you. These niggas in Africa talking about, yeah, they got our land, but we got their woman. 
But the land got all the gold, all the diamonds, all the resources. Now, if you want to be aboriginals and shit, do that. Go over here and try to dig and find some gold in America. You're going to get some fucking crumbs. When they find, when, when, when you got mountains of gold in Africa. The world's oxygen come from Africa. The, the fruits and the bananas that you find in South America come from Africa. So go on and be an indigenous and go on and dig for you some gold and some platinum and some vibranium and some fucking magnesium and uh, 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 cobalt and all of this kind of shit. Go on and try to dig for them resources over here and see how much you find. See, they need Africa for the resources of Africa. Africa been feeding the world. Niggas talking about they ain't African, but motherfuckers eat chocolate bars. They shit on toilets. They take baths. You got shampoo. But you not no African. And you can go right to Egypt. See, y'all niggas ain't never been home. When you, you can go right to Egypt and see the first beds. See the first tweezers. You can see the first toilet. The first shower. The first bath. The first cologne. The first perfumes. Are y'all crazy? Ancient Egypt. The Nile Valley. Not just ancient Egypt. Because we got the... All of us comedic brothers and, you know, Rasta brothers and shit, we like to always say Egypt, but it's really the Nile Valley culture because all of those societies were doing the same thing. <clears throat> and when you see the brothers and sisters 